If you are the one, shout another hallelujah. God bless you. May please be seated. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone to the third service. This Revelation Sunday. Hallelujah. 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 In this service, we are going to share the word briefly and then we'll pray. Because I believe that God wants to do something special in all of our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 14 from verse 16 to 19. We read together from the Amplified Version. I will just read verse 16. John 14 verse 16. John 14 verse 16. Are we there? I think it's on the screen. Okay. Can we please read it together? I want to go. And I will ask the Father. And he will give you another helper. Comforter. Advocate. Intercessor. Counselor. Strengthener. Stand by. To be with you. I'll be speaking to you in this third service on our paracletos. Our paracletos. In the first two services, we began to look at help. The first thing I want to tell you is that the first fact I want you to know is that everybody needs help. Do I have a witness in the house? Oh, maybe I'm, not, I'm in the wrong service. Do I have a witness in the house? Uh, everybody needs help. Even medical doctors need medical help. The cars of mechanics breaks down. Lawyers get into trouble. Everybody needs help. Second thing I want you to know is that help is available. The Bible calls God in Psalm 46 verse 1. It said, is the present help in trouble? Help is available. The third thing I want you to know is that you need to connect to the right source of help. Isaiah 31 verse 1. Woe to those that go to Egypt to look for help. When there's no help. Everybody needs help. Help is available. But you must connect to the right source of help. Today, I introduce to you the most reliable, the most available, and the most dependable source of help. The Holy Spirit. When Jesus was going, he prayed. Say, Father, I pray, send them another helper. Another helper. Jesus was a helper when he was here. He went about doing good. He helped the blind men to see. He raised the dead. He delivered the oppressed. He did all manner. And when he was going, the people were bothered. Oh, God, you are going. It's like you walk in an office and your MD has been doing well, the business is doing well, and your MD announces to you, I'm relocating to Canada. I'm sure you'll be bothered. Because relocating to Canada for, for most Nigerian businessmen and women is one man business. So you know that as it's going to Canada, the business is also doing what? The business is going to Canada or dying a natural death. So what's concerned? This one you are going now. What happens to my 200k salary? This official can you gave, what's going to happen? So they were concerned. And Jesus said, relax. Let me look at him and say, relax. He said, relax. I'm not going to leave you helpless. I won't leave you helpless. I won't leave you helpless. I pray for you today, you will not be helpless. Are you sure you're in this service? I said you will not be helpless. So Jesus said, relax. I will not leave you helpless. 
I will pray the Father to give you another helper. As I'm going to Canada, I will give you a better helper. I'm paying you 200K. This one will pay you one M. Another helper. And he said, this one is to your advantage. That's to your advantage. John 67. Can we have John 67? 167. In the same amplified. If you can have it. John 16, 7. Said it's to your advantage. See, he said, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go to Canada. So that I can get a better deal. He says, to your advantage. Why is it to your advantage? When I was here helping you, I was, I was limited by space. I was limited by my flesh. Because Jesus is God in the flesh. But Holy Spirit is God in the spirit. You remember the story of Lazarus. They sent for Jesus. It took him how many days to get there? Four days. Four days. Even though he woke Lazarus up, but it took four days. As a matter of fact, sometimes on his journey, there are, there are interruptions. In Mark chapter 5, Jairus came to call Jesus. My daughter is having issues. As he was on his way to Jairus' house, what happened? The woman with your blood, we laid him on the road. Say, Oga, oh before you get to Jairus house, you need to sort out my own matter. We said, the spirit of God is coming. I will give you another helper. He's a helper in another form. I told us in the second service. As I stand before you, I'm a father. I have children. I'm a son to my mom. And I'm a husband to my wife. Same me. But I function in three different dimensions. So that's why we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. First John 5, 7, King James Version says, There are three that bear witness in heaven. First John 5, 7. Says the Father, the world. Remember who the world is. Uh -huh. John chapter 1 told us about the world. The word was made flesh. John 1. 14. And we beheld his glory. So the Father, the word, and the Holy Ghost. He said these three are one. Manifesting in different dimensions. Water. When you lower the temperature, it becomes ice. When you increase the temperature, it becomes what? Vapor. It's the same water. It's still the same H2O, whether it's vapor or ice or liquid water. Three dimensions. Most of the time, we align with what we can see. That is why the Holy Ghost has been so resisted, misunderstood so much, because you can relate with the Father. Because you, are, you have a Father, you have seen your Father. You can relate with the Son. You have seen sons. How do you relate with Holy Ghost looks mysterious. That's why we have, not, we have not benefited so much from the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, you know, he said, I will send you another helper. The word helper. When we're interpreting the Bible from Greek, New Testament, it's difficult to get one word. That's why I, I brought out that interpretation from uh, Amplified. Amplified showed us Explain it better. In the Greek, the word helper there means parakletos. Parakletos has like five, means five things. Who is this helper? Who is this parakletos? Please show us that scripture again, please. Is, um, there, are, there, are, there are four or five minutes there. Can I have it in the same amplified? Um, John 14, 16. Paracletos. He said, another helper. Who is this helper? This is the meaning of paracletos. Holy Spirit, the helper. He calls him the comforter. When you go through challenging situations, he's there to comfort you. He calls him the advocate. Someone that stands with you to defend you when you are in trouble. 
advocate. He calls him the intercessor. Intercessor counselor. He intercedes for you and teach you how to intercede. That's why it's called intercessor counselor. Compound words. And then he's the strengthener. He releases strength when you are weak. And then the last one is a standby. He's always, he said, this one will abide with you forever. When Jesus was here in the flesh, he could only be in one place at a time. But for this, another helper, this one will be with you anywhere you are. Anywhere you go. Hebrews 13, 5. Say, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He's there all the time. 12 midnight, your pastor is at home. He's there. You go to Jamaica, your husband is not there. He's there. Where your uncle is not present, he's there. So, this helper, the first helper, decided to use the body of, you know, he, he, he came in the flesh of a man, a Jewish man. This new helper decided to stay in you and me. This new helper is inexhaustible. This new helper, you know, Jesus as a human being, there's, there's so much people he can lay hands upon. After I lay hands, even that the Jew, I, I, when we started re, in the 80s, when he wanted to pray, when the redeemed was still very, were fewer, he could lay hands on 200 people, 500 people. But now, how many people can he lay hands upon? But this new helper ministers to you individually. He's, a, he's not an external helper. He's an internal. He lives in your house. He not just live, he lives on your bed. As a matter of fact, he lives inside of you, in you. In you. So it's help. When you define about help that is a very present help, that's the definition of this helper. Is very present. Anywhere, anytime is what? Present. But most times, we don't benefit because we don't understand. The Bible says in Psalm 49 verse 20, it's a man that is in honor and does not know it is like the beast that perish. When you don't know that you carry so much help, you'll be begging. You'll be begging. Another helper, a better helper. How does he help? Because I want us to pray a bit in this service. We use the acronym SPIRIT to look at his help. The S talks about he helps to sanctify us. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 13. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 13. Show us on the screen. King James. Just, just run King James. That's fine. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 13. He helps to sanctify us. For this cause also we thank God without ceasing. Because when Second Thessalonians is that it? That's not it. 13. Okay. I think this is it now. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God had from the beginning chosen you to salvation through the what? Sanctification of the Spirit. To be sanctified is to be set apart as a holy vessel in the hand of God. This is the easiest way to live above sin. He helps you. You want to take a wrong step? You want to do the wrong thing? He prompts you. Oh God, this is not good. You tell a lie? Oh God, this is not it. He keeps disturbing you. keeps touching you. But I beg you, every time Holy Spirit prompts you, you are not doing the right thing. Don't always shut the voice of the Holy Spirit so that your heart don't become seared with hot iron. I told those in the second service, if you move, if you decide to go and stay very close to an airport, I think last year or so, I went to London with my wife and the fellow we stayed with lives very close to the airport. 
Of course, in the UK, they, there's a way they pad and soundproof the houses. So, incidentally, when she was living in Nigeria, she was living close to Murita Lam Mohammed Airport. Just Mafunuku area, those very close to the airport. So she said, growing up, when they first moved to that area, it was a child, they can't sleep in the night. Aircraft taking off, aircraft landing. So few months they could not sleep. After some months, they can't hear the sound of the aircraft again. An aircraft is still flying. You know what happened? Huh? They got used to it. So the aircraft is but inside it, they'll be snoring as if nothing is happening. It is dangerous for the Holy Spirit to be prompting you. You are doing the wrong thing. And you keep shutting the voice. A time can come if you are not careful. It will look as if you are not getting any direction at all. We need to be very careful. Sensitive to the Spirit. Sensitive to the Holy Spirit. At every point in time. Daddy Joe told us the story. One day, he traveled to Elisha or somewhere. And um, he got back to Lagos. And he was to go and see the founder of Redeem, Papa Kindayomi. A few of you must have heard that story. And um, from, from experience and from teaching, we have, we have learned that you can't go to the house of your pastor and not go with the gift. So when he, he got to Lagos, so on his way to go and see Parking Dayomi, the founder of the church, who incidentally was his father in the Lord, on the road, he got some oranges in Lagos. The oranges tasted very nice. And Baba said, ah, you must have gotten these oranges on the road. And he said, yes, sir. And they finished the conversation and he left. On his way home. Holy Spirit. But the question they asked you, did you understand it or you don't understand it? Maybe we should help him interpret that question. When Baba said, did you buy it on the road? What did you think the old man was saying? Because he just traveled, came back from Elisha. So when Baba said, Did you, oh, I'm sure you got these oranges from the road. What Baba meant was that, I'm sure you got these oranges on your way from Elisha to Lagos. But he got it somewhere around Lagos. But like Pastor Rosa said, it's still a road is road. No? <laughs> Whether it's Lagos road or Elisha road. But between me and you, he knows the question. But the please man, which is where most of us fall in, because how, how will this sound that? That means you didn't even think about buying something for him. So, so that it, it won't look like an afterthought. So he wanted to give the impression that this is not an afterthought. I've been thinking about it from Malaysia, even though he didn't think about it. She, she, you know, this are little, little deception. So he left, but Holy Spirit didn't allow him rest again. Few days after, he went back to meet Baba. He said, Baba, uh, sorry, sir. That uh, orange I brought to you a few days ago, I didn't buy it on my way from Malaysia. I bought it in Lagos. And the Baba just said, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit. That is what he does. He helps us to live a sanctified life. When you are doing the wrong thing, it prompts you. It tells you. That's the S. I'm looking at spirit. And I need to run through this. The S is sanctification. Romans 15, 16. King James, just give us the scripture. Romans 15, 16. It helps for sanctification of the believer. It helps to sanctify the believer. The Holy Spirit.
What did you take in your office that is not your own? Holy Spirit has been telling you to return it back. Yes. To make our life right with God. That I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable. Being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. It helps you to live right. When you are going in the wrong way, it cautions you. That's one of the things he does to help us. The P. He helps to release power to believers. He helps to empower. The P is to empower believers. Power. Helps to empower believers. Ask one age and you shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses. Why do we need this power? Number one reason is to be a witness. To evangelize. Gives you power to evangelize. Why does he give you power? He gives you power to live above the schemes of the devil. Luke 10, 19. I give unto you power to tread snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and he said nothing shall by enemies hurt you the I in spirit I'm running rushing because of time the I is the Holy Spirit intercedes for us paracletos sanctifies us empowers us intercedes for us Romans 8 26 27 8, 26 and 27. The Bible says, For we know not how to pray. We don't even know what to say in time of prayer. New Living Translation says, We don't know what to say. NLT. It says, But the Spirit makes intercession for us. He prays for us. He, he does not only pray for us, He teaches us how to pray. That is why if you if you want to have a good prayer life, you need to learn how to pray in the spirit. Oh, there's what is called praying in the spirit. There's what is called singing in the spirit. Let me show you in the scriptures. First Corinthians 4, 14 verse 15. First Corinthians 14 verse 15. First Corinthians 14 verse 15. Apostle Paul said in First Corinthians 14 verse 15, please show us on the screen. So where well then? What is it then? And we pray in the, with what? With the spirit. And I will pray with understanding also. He said, I will sing with the spirit. And I will sing with the understanding. So that's what is called, when you lose words to say in your understanding, switch to the spirit. Mlikos kaprikato. When you lose words, sometimes words may not be sufficient, adequate. After speaking grammar for like 30 minutes, you can, you can, you can, you can. Be drained out of adequate words. You switch to the spirit. Intercede for us. Just like the first helper, this another helper also prays and intercedes on our behalf as our advocate. Luke 22, 31 and 32. King James Version. Jesus said to Peter, 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 said to him, Peter, Peter, he said, Peter, Peter, behold, Satan has desired to, to sift you as wheat, to sweep you off your feet. Verse 32, the helper said he did something. He said, but I pray for you that your faith I pray for you your faith, your faith will not fail. Amen. 50 of you shouting amen, your faith will not fail. Amen. I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. I pray for you, you will not disappoint God. When you make the Holy 
Spirit, your helper, intercedes for you. What's the S again? It helps to sanctify us, the P. Releases power towards the I. The R is a revealer. In fact, Yoruba's called it Olofofo. It reveals tops, man. Holy Spirit is a revealer. Is a revealer. And he's still revealing till tomorrow. Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. You reveal secrets. Hidden things. Revealed by the Holy Spirit. Deuteronomy 29 29. Secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things that are revealed belong to us and our children. We may do all the words of the Lord. Is a revealer. First Corinthians 2. From verse 9. This one will interest you. I want us to read this together. First Corinthians 2 from verse 9. Let's read together. I want to go. But as it's written, I had not seen, nor he had heard, neither had he entered into the heart of man. The things which God had prepared for them to love him. Verse 10. But God had revealed them unto us. By what? By his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Not the shallow things. Deep things of God. Next verse. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Verse 12. Now, we have the spirit. Not the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. Holy Spirit reveals to you the deep things of God. Years ago, I was preaching in camp, and I told them as I was preaching, I said, everybody opens the Bible, but the Bible does not open to everybody. Anybody can open Bible. But Bible doesn't open to everybody. The Bible only opens to those that the Holy Spirit reveals the deep truths of the Bible to. It's a revealer. There's a secret behind the challenge you are going through. All you need is for the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. Reveal of truth. One day when Mijio was in camp, Far away, her daughter was in school. And of course, she didn't uh, pierce the ears of her daughter. And Holy Spirit just revealed to her. She just saw somebody in school, body school. <laughs> they were tricking the ear of the girl. So she went to the school. As she was approaching, exactly the picture she saw, they were just doing the operation. <laughs> Revealer. Revealer. Truth. Holy Spirit reveals. If you are working with him, he will. There was a time I had a partner that was working together. He doesn't tell anybody about his movement. So anytime he's outside the country, he's in America. You just land in the office. Oh, this man is back. But I've never been surprised of his arrival. The way I welcome him is a special leader. What is this fellow using? Because once he's ready to move, the Olofofo, everything clearly be revealed. I pray for you today. Somebody shouting amen. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes. Holy Spirit is the revealer. He can show you what you need to do. He can show you the steps you need to take. He's a revealer. The things that man conceal. The things that man tries to hide. Your helper can reveal everything. No? Revealer. Reveals everything. Imagine as a young girl. You want to marry a boy. And the boy is, you know, posing, telling you all manner of stories. And Holy Spirit reveals to you some very deep truths. Say this guy. There's one Evelyn somewhere in the... While he's trying to pull some strings and touching your brain in the... He's sharing my go to here. The guy has 
you are his fiancée, he has a fiancée D in Victoria Land. He has a fiancée F in a first start. He has a fiancée. And you feel that you are fiancée, you don't know there's a fiancée D, there's a fiancée E, there's a fiancée F. Imagine this young guy just shows up and you tell him. He's done his job perfectly. He said, who is Evelyn that stays in a first start? You. <laughs> say, what did you say? I mean, Evelyn Okonkwo. Say this guy shop with show. <laughs> Suddenly, he will shiver. This was see when you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we can't be stranded. Nobody can fall on. He reveals. He reveals. He reveals. He reveals. There's a business venture I went to. Holy Spirit revealed to me clearly. Last year, say, Oh God, do this job oh, till January. By January, cut off. Cut off. Cut off. People that are around me say, ah, this thing by January is gone. They didn't listen. You know, because I didn't shake my head. I didn't say, hmm. January. I just said it normally. By January, bam, cut off. But by January, I was smiling because it has been revealed ahead. Holy Spirit, revealer. That's the eye. The next eye, he inspires. He helps. He inspires and instructs. New Living Translation, Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. He instructs. Instructs you. Psalm 32, verse 8. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. Not every way is not your way. He said, but I will instruct you along what? The best pathway for your life. I will advise you if you can listen you know, and watch over you. He inspires you and instructs you. Isaiah 30 verse 21. King James Version. Isaiah 30 verse 21. He said, you will hear a voice behind you. You will hear it. Instructing you. Say it. This is the way. Walk in it. When you turn to the right hand. And when you turn to the left hand. John 16, 13. John 16, 13. John 16, 13. John 16, 13. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will do what? He will guide you. Ah, he will guide you. Into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatever he, he shall hear, that shall he speak. He will show you things to come. He inspires you. Job 32 verse 8. The Bible says there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the almighty gives them understanding. You are inspired. In your career, God inspires you. In your marriage, you are inspired. When you make the Holy Spirit your paracletos. When it becomes your helper, it inspires you. Every business is not your business. The fact that you got visa to Canada should not make you relocate. Should not make you relocate. Listen, I, tell, I was preaching somewhere in London long ago. A very big church, one of our biggest redeemed churches in the UK. I told them, not everybody in the UK is okay. I've been to China. Not everybody in China. China is shining. Not everybody that goes to Dubai buys things. You can go to America and your life will still not be amended. Are we together? So, but when God is the one guiding you, the Bible says there's a way. Proverbs 14, 12. There's a way that seems right to a man. But the end of destruction. God sends you to Germany 
and uh, somebody said they won't give you visa. Who is superior? Inspires you, instructs you. Take your time and enjoy the paracletos, your helper. And then, what's the last word now? The tea transforms. It helps to transform. See, when you, when you encounter these paracletos, your life is transformed. One song that I said, I will never be the same. I've taught your grace and my life is changed. Second Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Second Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Put on the screen for you. Now, the Lord is that spirit. That Lord you saw in the Old Testament. That Lord is the spirit. The Lord Jesus is the same as the Holy Spirit. The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Verse 18. But we, with an open face, as in a glass, we behold the glory of the Lord. We are what? We are changed into the same image from glory to glory. As we look at him, we begin to look like him. We look at him, we look like him. We look at him, we look like him. We, we are changed. It brings transformation. Paracletos. People begin to ask questions. Something has changed about this guy. This lady is no longer the same. Why? You have had an encounter with the paracletos. That is what has made the difference. First Samuel chapter 10 verse 6. First Samuel 10 verse 6. First Samuel 10 verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. And thou shalt prophesy with them. And thou shalt be turned. Thou shalt be turned. You can't turn to him. And your life won't turn. You can't turn to him. And your life won't turn. How do I get involved with this paracletos? Let's spell the holy. I'll just call it out for you as I begin to close. The H. We have looked at spirit. So just check again. What's the S in spirit? He helps to sanctify us. The P. Power. The I. Intercedes. The R. Reveals. Revelation. The I. Inspires and instructs. The T. Transforms. Now, the H in the Holy Spirit is that you need to hunger. You need to hunger. John chapter 7. We, we can't read, just read at home. From verse 37 to 38. Say, come. Everyone that is thirsty, hungry. Are you hungry for the Holy? Are you hungry for him? Are you hungry? Blessed are those that thirst and hunger. The H is hunger. The O you must obey him. Don't grieve him. Ephesians 4.30 Some people grieve the Holy Spirit. He keeps telling you. You keep doing your own thing. After a while, and listen to me, when you are dealing with the Holy Spirit, until you obey the first instruction, you don't get the second one. I'm telling you from experience. Oh, Holy Spirit is telling you to do A. You have not done it. You won't get number two instruction. Obey! That's the O in the Holy Spirit. L. Live in the Spirit. Be sensitive. Leave. Revelations 1.10. Show us on the screen. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Live in the spirit. Be sensitive in the spirit. Galatians 5.16. Those that walk in the spirit will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Live in the spirit. Be sensitive to the spirit. And then the why in the holy. Yield yourself. Yield yourself. Romans 6.16. Anyone you yield yourself to, that's the fellow that you, you that will rule over you. Romans 6 16. To whom you yield yourself, say, No, you not. That to whom you yield yourselves to, yourself servants to obey, is servants ye are to whom ye obey. Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. As I close, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14. 
Choir, please come. I need you right now. We just sing and pray and we close this third service. Hallelujah. Somebody shout it out. Say, Holy Spirit, I need you. I, I'm not sure you really need it. Say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Okay. Let's read this together. Second Corinthians 13, verse 14. Want to go. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit. How will the Holy Spirit become your paracletos? Is by fellowship with him. Communion. How do you commune with him? The place of prayer. You must romance him. There's need for intimacy. You romance him. There's a scripture I need to show you. That first John. I don't know if you have it now. First John 2.20. In the Amplified Version. Romance him. Romance him. It will empower you. As you romance him. Anointing is the, is the flow of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. That's what they call anointing. Not what makes you shake. No, no, no. It's the flow of the Holy Spirit. Flow of the Holy Spirit. Flow of the Holy Spirit. Love a believer. I had a story of a young girl. It's not, this thing doesn't run by age. It runs by relationship. A young girl, they were doing crusades somewhere. And this masquerade came. And they came to scatter the crusade. And they were beating their drums. And in that village, once masquerades are beating their drums and the drums begin to tear is a bad omen you have closed their masquerade festival so as they were dancing boo, 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 villagers were running from the crusade ground one small girl just came lifted her hand and began to pray in the Holy Ghost the next fellow that wanted to beat the drum pow the team broke next one pow the team broke next one pow the team broke and all the masquerade people disappeared from this crusade ground. Small girl, not a pastor. Not a pastor. But carries the fire. Has a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Carries the fire of the Holy Spirit. Anointing carries the fire. I remember one, one, young, one young boy. I, I've known him for a while. He just got married. A week after or two weeks after. I think it's a week after. I was in church on a Thursday evening. In Sulere. And the wife came and she was shouting, Say, Pastor, Pastor, what happened? The boy ran mad. We live in a wicked world. One week after marriage, the boy ran mad. Went mental, very violent. And they rushed him to a hospital in a papa. So the guy came to church. Say, Pastor, Pastor, I said, just relax. I have to finish this service. So after service, so okay, let's go. I just got one of our ministers to go with me to a papa to the hospital. By the time we got there, the boy was tied on the bed. Violent. And um, let me teach you a trick. When you are praying for a mad fellow, you don't close your eyes. <laughs> That's just by the way. So, violent. Eyes red. Of course, this is a very respectful boy. He saw me. He couldn't even say good evening, nothing. He was just there. So, Holy Spirit just said, cast out the spirit of insanity. So I just pointed to him, you spirit of his hand, out of his hand. The boy just fell and slept off. He has not slept for days, he just slept off. So I told the wife, say, Holy Spirit has done it though. I'm going to say, Pastor, still wait. I say, <laughs> I say, there's nothing to wait for. So it's not my deal. What the Holy Spirit has to do, I've done it, and he has done his work. And that was for, till forever. That's how his hand went. Feel forever. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Whatever God has not planted in your life, the fire of the Holy Spirit will consume it today. Somebody shouting, Amen, it will consume it today. In the name of Jesus. 1 John 2, verse 20. 1 John 2, verse 20. He said, But, let's read this together. 1 John 2, 20. Amplify it. First John 2.20. This is not all. This is just part of it. Okay. Let's, let's read it. First John 2.20. Yeah. Let's read it together. Want to go? You have an anointing from the Holy One. You have been set apart. 
specially gifted, prepared by the Holy Spirit. That's the other part of it. Okay. And all of you know the truth because it teaches you, illuminates our minds, and guides us from error. You will not fall into error. When the Holy Spirit is your friend, you can't fall into error, my brother. No. When you befriend him, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So you fellowship with him in prayer. You fellowship with him in prayer, quality time, in prayer. Fellowship with him in, 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 in song, in worship. Fellowship with him in the study of the word. Fellowship with him. Fellowship with him. And don't be in a hurry. Fellowship is a two-way communication. As you speak to him, let him speak to you also. Let him speak to you. I told us in second service during pandemic, I just saw something. Holy Spirit said, okay, go into this business. That is where you will get your sustenance for this pandemic. I went into that business and millions wrote get jelly into my account without struggle because it was the Holy Spirit. Something I don't know about. Was it? Go into it. Holy Spirit is sweet. I'm telling you the truth. Very sweet. If you can try it, it's 100%. Is it money? What do you call it now? Money back guarantee I give you. If it fails you, I pay you back for your time. That you spend with him. Spend time with the Holy Spirit. You'll be eternally grateful. Eternally grateful. Everything you need to know, what you need to do, it will just be showing you, teaching you, revealing to you, strengthening you. When you are weak to pray, Holy Spirit, help me. Strength comes. Do you know that Holy Spirit can be your alarm? I know some of you have done it. You, you, you sleep. You need to wake up at 12 midnight to pray. Say, Holy Spirit, wake me up at 12. When they call you at 12, I lie. By 12 o'clock, my God, you will wake up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This Holy Spirit is real. Give him a chance. Real. Realer than real. Fellowship with him. And when you speak to him, let him speak to you. Let him, some of us just come to prayer. Holy Ghost, oh, 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 Jesus, my Father, my God. Bye bye, and you go. I told them in second service, it's like a young man. I saw a young lady in church, and um, something is telling you, or your eyes is telling you that maybe this fellow wants to marry. Yeah. Oh, how are you? That's me, she's beautiful. You look good. You look nice. Oh, you are. Uh, and you're like, bye bye. They'll be looking at you that maybe you need to visit Yaba, is it right or left? So when you speak to the Holy Spirit, wait to get. Shall we bow our heads this morning? You are here this morning. You want to have fellowship. You want the Holy Spirit to be your paracletos, to be your helper. Then you need to surrender yourself to him. Some of you need to rededicate your life to him. So wherever you are this morning, you need to rededicate your life to Jesus or surrender to him afresh. I like to pray with you. Wherever you are, just lift your right hand. I want to pray with you. All heads are bowed. God bless those hands. If you are lifting your hand, please come to this altar. Come and kneel down this altar. You are not coming to meet the God. You are not coming to meet the man of God. You are coming to meet the God of men. Please come. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. You are in the gallery. Come. You need to. Re God bless you. God bless you. You need to rededicate your life. Come. Come. Everything. God bless you, my sister. Come. 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 Don't be ashamed. Come. Come. Holy Spirit is touching your heart. Come. With Holy Spirit is touching you. Come. With order, come, with order, come, leave your seat and come. With Holy Spirit is touching you. Come, come, come. I give come. myself away. Come, come. Everybody stand. I give myself away. Amen. In few minutes, I want you to, those of you that have the language of the Spirit, give yourself away to Him. Listen to me. You get the Holy Spirit at salvation. 
But Holy Spirit gets you at surrender. You get the Holy Spirit at salvation. The Holy Spirit gets you when you surrender. When you Holy Spirit gets you when you surrender. You get him when you at the point of salvation. But he gets you when you surrender. I want you to lift your hands as you take that song. I give my those of you on the altar say, Lord, have mercy on me. Please close your eyes and pray in the spirit. I give myself. I surrender myself, oh God. I give myself away. Imbalekele baragata, shakatele parekele bo. Iro, iro shala. Elekele bo suka. Ika parekele ba. ones that have, you have drawn to yourself who have given their life to you. Lord, we ask you we forgive them all their sins. Wash them in your blood. Welcome them into your family. Let their names be written in the book of life. Lord, I ask for power and grace not to go back to their sins again. Lord, you will give one to them. Let this one be saved and delivered forever. And let them begin to live a life of the Spirit and in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's pray in the Spirit. Please pray in the Spirit for a few minutes, a few seconds. Exercise yourself in the Spirit. Exercise yourself in the Spirit. Strengthen yourself in the Spirit. Strengthen your inner man in the Spirit. E brada gada le prodosi ta e mana nos i la rada di ale comprende de do raga bali di ando se tele ke bodia e le mono shanta ya gada la da 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 e ko polo polo do do ya de cavalia de so te ke te de 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 do shira losa i para bada di e te de do do i cari bali a do 
As we have exercised ourselves in the spirit, as we have energized our inner man in the spirit, Lord, I pray for a fresh fellowship, fresh communion, fresh relationship, fresh encounter in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Because the Holy Ghost is provoked to help when we have a fellowship with the Spirit, as we have had in the church this afternoon. Lord, I ask for the grace to sustain sweet fellowship with your Spirit. Holy Spirit, Father, you will give to us in the name of Jesus. I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice from this hour we sustain till eternity till Jesus will come a, a, a fellowship in the spirit, a fellowship with the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, and the wisdom to engage in the to engage the Holy Spirit in, the, in the, every time and moment of help, Lord, we receive today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we pray for our pastor you have used today. We ask you will use him more and more in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we ask for more unction, more power, more grace, more anointing, more manifestation of your power and your presence, more fellowship time for your son in the name of Jesus. Lord, through him, you will yet take us higher and higher in the things of the Spirit, in the journey of destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed this afternoon? Can you jam your hands together and celebrate Jesus? If you have been blessed, you can give it to him better. Jam your hands together and let him hear your, the clapping of your hands. Please take your seat in God's presence. 